Tidybot is a robot that probably everyone would love to have in their home. <laughs> it's a robot that cleans up your mess. You provide a few examples of where things go in that place you want to be tidied up. Uh, and then Tidybot can actually generalize from these few examples to broader categories and deal with things that you haven't exactly pointed out where they go. I kind of feel everybody wants Tidybots, and I think for a lot of uh, roboticists, that's when we get into the fields. I think one of the motivation is kind of like build a home robot that can help us in our daily life. It's able to kind of deal with this unstructuredness of the environment and also dealing with so many different objects. So you call it open vocabulary, means that it can deal with random objects that's maybe not like part of the existing data set. For example, you may say that I want a teddy bear to be on the bed or be on the shelf. And you don't need to say actually like all the toys I want to be on the bed or the shelf. And then teddy bear is able to like generalize uh, that kind of concept to other objects in, in the home. What is interesting right now is that there are all these large models out there, either for language processing, which is part of this project, or all the vision models that suddenly start working really well and can actually be used on a robot. We're kind of like one of the first wave of people that's trying to experiment in how to use larger models for robotics. Those common sense reasoning skills in those larger models can be very useful for physical robots. Because Teddybot or like similar systems, they are leveraging like internet scale data, we actually don't know the limits. I think, again, it's infinite possibilities as long as you can provide a good example. Even the task of just picking up all these objects is a non-trivial task. And also the tossing action that you see, that is non-trivial as well. The big system really like, needs all the parts to come together. The remaining challenges are really having Tidybot and these different models actually work in all sorts of different environments. Uh, in your home, in my home, in this lab, in the other lab over there, right? And there's a lot of work that, to just generalize the entire system 